Hey guys, Mike from Arnold Tutor and here. Very important video on how to solve logarithmic equations. These are equations where we've got multiple logarithms often, that's usually how they start with them, and we've got an equal sign, so we know we're going to have to isolate x somehow. But usually x is trapped inside the logarithms, like it is in this question, so we're going to follow a few very basic steps that work pretty much every time on these types of questions. The first step is to gather all of your logarithms on one side of the equation and everything else on the other side. So I've got to bring this logarithm over to this side, especially since they both share the same base. They're both base 3. So I'm going to just simply add it to the left side. And I want to keep 3 over there because that's not in logarithmic form. The reason we do this is so that we can use our log laws, which means uh, the first law is that when two logarithms of the same base are added together, we can collapse them into one logarithm of that same base and multiply the terms inside. So the law looks like this. This is the law that we're going to follow here. Base A, base A, two added together. We can combine it into one logarithm of base A where the uh, terms inside are multiplied together. So that's exactly what we're going to do here. I'm going to combine this to one logarithm. So it's log base 3 of x plus 4 times x minus 2. And it still equals 3. So all I've done is collapse this left side into one logarithm. The reason we do that is so now we've got a logarithm equaling some number, and we know from previous videos that we always want to change the form at this point. So to change the form to exponential, I'm going to take the base raised to this exponent equaling what's inside. So I get 3 raised to the 3 equals x plus 4 x minus 2. And now all of a sudden the logarithm's gone. This is an easy quadratic that we're really good at solving. This is 27. I'm going to expand this. So it's x squared plus 4x minus 2x minus 8. If I bring everything to the right side because it's a quadratic, I'll get 0 equals x squared plus 2x minus 8 minus 27 minus 35. And if I want to solve this, I can factor it. I'll bring it up here. 0 equals. This is going to factor into plus 7. x plus 7. And x minus 5. So my answer is x equals negative 7. Or x equals 5. Now, very important here. That's normally how we would solve this quadratic. And it's the correct way to solve the quadratic. But because it's a logarithm question, we always have to check our answers. Meaning, take your answers for x, sub them back into the beginning logarithms, and we have to remember that we can only take the log of a number that's greater than 0. So if we plug either of these in, and the insides of the logarithm become negative or 0, that's no good. If I plug in negative 7, this is going to be negative 3, so right away this is no good. 5, does that work? 5 plus 4 is 9. 5 minus 2 is 3. Those are both positive. We're good to go. So our answer is x equals 5. Remember those steps. Move everything with a logarithm on one side, everything without on the other side. Collapse down to one logarithm, and then change uh, the form back to exponential. Super easy if you follow those steps. Uh, you can always find out more on our website, arnoldtutoring.com. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. We've got tons of videos like this, especially in logarithms and exponentials, and definitely keep a lookout if you're in Manitoba for our exam prep seminar for the provincial exam. Thanks so much.